Using the Instant Pot to make chicken wings results in the most tender, fall apart chicken wings you've ever had. Hi everyone, Kristen here. Today I'm going to share with you a surprising recipe. We're going to use our Instant Pot to make chicken wings, which you may think, really Kristen? Yes, really. The Instant Pot is going to tenderize our wings so that they're falling apart tender. Then we're going to finish them up with a homemade buffalo sauce in the broiler and they are spectacular. So let's get cooking. The first thing we're going to do is make a seasoning for our chicken wings. Essentially it's just seasoned salt, but in case you don't have that on hand, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm using about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt here. I have just a pinch of black pepper one teaspoon of paprika. You can use smoked paprika if you'd like that smoky flavor to your wings. One teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. You just wanna mix that up just to combine those spices. And then for our wings, you can use fresh or frozen chicken wings. I have a little over a pound of fresh chicken wings today. And you wanna make sure that you separate the flats and the drumettes from each other just so that they cook up nice and evenly. I'm gonna add that right to our bowl here with our seasoned salt. We're keeping the seasonings on our chicken really, really simple just to give a little bit of flavor here. And then we're gonna finish it up, like I said, with a homemade buffalo sauce today. If you don't like buffalo sauce, you could use barbecue sauce, you could use teriyaki sauce, whatever you like. Just give your wings a toss there, just to coat them in that salt. And if you're using frozen wings, don't be afraid to toss even the frozen wings with the seasoned salt. It won't adhere quite as well, but it'll still give the wings a little bit of flavor. Now to prepare our Instant Pot. We're gonna pour in one cup of cold tap water. If you're using a six quart Instant Pot, if you have an eight quart model, use one and a half cups of cold tap water. And then we need something to put our wings on. You could use a steamer basket or just the trivet that came with your Instant Pot, which is what I'm using today. And then you just wanna set your wings. It's okay if they're piled on top of each other on the trivet over the water there. One pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds of chicken wings, however many you can fit inside your Instant Pot here. Um, this is a great recipe for a party. You can make the wings a couple days in advance in the Instant Pot and then broil them up right before serving, which is, makes for, you know, easy, effortlessly entertaining. My chicken wings are in my Instant Pot. I'm gonna pop my lid on the Instant Pot. You wanna make sure your venting knob is pointed towards sealed or closed. And to set the cooking time, we're going to cook our wings for 10 minutes on high pressure for fresh or defrosted chicken wings. For frozen chicken wings, you wanna increase that time to 15 minutes. So to do so, we're gonna hit manual or pressure cook. And we're gonna use the plus or minus buttons and adjust until it reads 10 minutes because I have fresh wings. The cooking time has elapsed on our Instant Pot, but we wanna let pressure release naturally for at least five minutes, 10 minutes is best, and that's gonna keep our meat super, super tender. So while our Instant Pot is letting pressure release naturally, which just means don't touch your Instant Pot, it's okay if it's on the keep warm function, we're gonna make our buffalo sauce. Like I said, you totally don't have to use buffalo sauce. You can use barbecue sauce, teriyaki sauce, honey mustard, whatever you like. Seasoned salt is a great base for any flavoring that you're gonna add to your buffalo wings, or chicken wings, buffalo if you're using buffalo sauce. You follow me. So for our buffalo sauce here, I have about one cup of hot sauce. This is Frank's hot sauce. Any red cayenne pepper sauce will do. Just make sure you don't get one that's already labeled buffalo sauce, as that's gonna have a lot of additives into it and then you don't need to add any other additional flavorings. But homemade always tastes best. So about a cup of buffalo sauce, two tablespoons of melted butter, a little bit of butter solidifying there. It's 
a little cold in my kitchen today. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. Give that a whisk just to combine. And I forgot one ingredient. We want to add a little bit of honey as well just to balance out the heat in this buffalo sauce. So I'm going to run and grab my honey right now. Here we go. Just about a tablespoon of honey is all you need. Just a little bit there just to really balance out that flavors. Wouldn't have been the end of the world if I forgot it, but it does make it taste a lot better. All right, that's it. So we're going to leave our buffalo sauce be. We're going to let our instant pot release pressure for just another few minutes, and then I'll meet you back here and show you how we finish these wings up. Okay, so we've had more than five minutes of time elapsed, so we can go ahead and do a quick release of any remaining pressure. To do this, you want to grab a long wooden utensil of some sort, and you're going to knock your sealing knob from the sealed to the venting position. Just remember to stand back so you don't burn yourself. It's also best to do this in an open space so you don't have moisture hitting the bottom of your cabinets. Over time, it wouldn't be very good for your cabinets. All right, open up your Instant Pot. And now, place our cooked chicken wings, super, super soft, super tender. And we're gonna place them into a clean bowl using clean utensils here. So that looks good. So I'm gonna pour just about a fourth of a cup, maybe a little bit more of this buffalo sauce over my wings. If you made two pounds, you would use a little bit more, but we want to reserve some to brush on our wings after we broil them. That's really going to flavor them up really, really greatly. Okay, that's it. We're going to place our wings on a sheet pan here that's been lined with foil or parchment paper, or you could use a broiler pan. You could even Finish up crisping up your wings using an air fryer lid. You would set it to 400 degrees and you would broil for about two to four minutes. It's a little bit harder to do with an air fryer lid than the broiler because the wings are stacked on top of each other and we want them to broil evenly so that every little bit of the skin gets nice and crispy. So we're gonna pop these in the broiler for about two to three minutes per side. Keep a close eye on them so you don't burn them. My wings have been broiled. They're looking nice and crisp. That skin has really browned up there, but we're not done. We want to add just a little bit more flavor. So with that reserved buffalo sauce, I'm just gonna brush over the top of the wings just to give it just a little bit more kick of flavor. All right, and the best way to serve wings, well, it's up to you. My family is a ranch family. They like ranch dressing on the side of their wings. So I have a little ranch here today. Of course, blue cheese. Everybody, there's a lot of people that like blue cheese. Not my husband, not my son, so ranch it is today. I'm gonna put these wings on a platter here for serving. All right. So it's time to dig into our chicken wings, but I'm not the wing connoisseur of my family. So I'm going to bring in two experts to tell you just how good these wings are. Well, welcome to my husband and my son here. They are the ultimate wing experts. You guys really love your wings, don't you? Definitely. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. game day must around here for these boys and they're pretty picky. So let's get their opinion. Go ahead there. Okay. You gonna dip it in ranch? I'm good. I you're like good. the spice. You like the spice. He can handle it. And you're a wimp. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Those are mm. really tender. Mm. Very yeah. good. Ooh, Just that, enough crisp to it. Yeah, that great flavor. Incredible. I really like them. Thank you, you need a glass of milk? Are they too spicy for you? Not at all. They're good. Mm. Well, as you can tell by their shirts, the championship games, we may be a house divided. That's for sure this year when it comes to college football. But the one thing these boys aren't divided on are that Instant Pot wings are the way to go. 
I hope that you guys give this recipe a try, give it two thumbs up, and for more game day snacks, be sure to check out my next recipe where I share with you how to make Instant Pot spinach chip. Until next time, happy cooking.